In a previous video, we set the headers display conditions, but let's go further because there are options for scrolling effects and sticky header and things like that. This page just has lots of duplicated sections with a single container, just so we can see the scrolling effects in action. What we're gonna do is go over and edit our header. Everything we're gonna do is in the settings cog in your top left. It is in the template settings. I just wanna mention though, if you haven't done it already, please do set your display conditions for your header basically is it on the entire website or particular pages we're going to go to the header and we are going to ensure that this header is currently well it sits at the top we could change it to be on the right or left and you would modify the style of how that basically looks rearrange the elements let's just undo that and put it back to the top we are going to ensure that this is a sticky header so we have a sticky header i'm going to type in 500 to basically be 500 pixels, and I am now gonna save that. Once I now go down and hit roughly 500 pixels worth of scrolling, watch the header, it's gone up. Did you see that? It's completely disappeared. Let me scroll back up. It's now reappeared. As I go down, it disappears. And as soon as I move my mouse a tiny bit up, I don't have to move 500 pixels all the way up. No, I just have to move a tiny bit. It reappears. but once you've hit the 500 pixel threshold it's no longer there you can see here we have some text now these are social or the icon list i've got here and there is no text it is just an icon so i want to show you what happens if i go and enable this so if i click this and i now put this to be the red color like that and i hit save as i start to scroll just a tiny bit it switches to red so you're probably wondering uh, what is the neatness about this because you know like okay look we got the scrolling effect as well but what is going to be neat about that what if i made the scrolling text color be completely transparent now when i scroll down the text completely disappears so it might be that maybe you've got some text on there that you want to show when they first land on the page but then once they start scrolling it disappears so you might have something up here that says you know sale or um i don't know some new feature or a headline and then when you scroll down it disappears or you could have it change color again something you get straight out of the box with bricks i've now removed the scrolling text color but let's look at the scrolling background if i go here and I now pick my red color this over here and I hit save. As soon as I move the mouse down, we get a different color. Don't forget we have got the scrolling effects, but it completely disappears. So you could disable or enable some of them. But look at that, we get a color change. And I've had to do this with other page builders using custom CSS. To have this just happen like that is brilliant. And of course you have the scrolling box shadow effect as well. You can overwrite the transition speeds down here if you want. And it's nice that they give you the example code. I mean, it's there by default, but you can now just imitate and copy and change that. Believe me, having stuff like this available to you makes working with headers so much more enjoyable. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.